friends i am alpa rajai and welcome to our youtube channel so our today's topic is electric field between two plates formula magnitude direction how to find it and several important faqs let's have a look at the topic we are going to cover today the direction of electric field between two plates the electric field between two parallel plates of same charge the electric field between two parallel plates of opposite charge the electric field between two plates given voltage the electric field between two parallel plates capacitor the magnitude of the electric field between two charged plates before delving into details of the electric field between two plates let us first define the term electric field The electric field is electric property that is linked with any charge in space. Definition of electric field of any charge is an electric field is an area or region where every point of it experiences an electric force. Thus, electric field is any physical quantity that takes different values of electric force at different points in a given space. Electric field can be described in a general way as electric force per unit charge that is E is equal to F upon Q If we consider an infinite plate having uniform charge per unit area that is sigma then for infinite plate an electric field can be given by E is equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon 0 as per gauss law electric field travels from a positively charged plate to a negatively charged plate for example suppose upper plate is positive and lower plate is negative then the direction of an electric field is given as shown in figure positive and negative charges feel the force of under the influence of electric field but its direction depends on the type of charge whether positive or negative positive charge senses the force in the direction of electric field whereas negative charge feels force in opposite direction the electric field between two parallel plates of same charge suppose we have two infinite plates which are parallel to each other having positive charge density plus sigma as we can see here in figure we can see both electric fields are opposing each other in the center of two plates as a result they cancel each other out result in a zero net electric field within thus we can say that e in is equal to zero both electric fields point in same direction outside the plate that is on the left and right side thus its vector sum will result in sigma upon epsilon 0 the electric field between two parallel plates of opposite charge Suppose we have two plates having charge density plus sigma and minus sigma. The distance b separates these two plates. Plate with a positive charge density produces an electric field of E is equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon 0, and the direction of it is in outward direction or away from the plate. While the plate with a negative charge density has same value of electric field but in opposite direction, that is inward direction. so when we use superposition principle at both sides of plate outside and inside the plate then we can see the outside the plate both electric field vectors have same magnitude and opposite direction and thus both electric field cancel each other out so outside the plate there will be no electric field that is e out is equal to zero as they support each other in same direction The net electric field between two plates is given by E is equal to sigma upon epsilon zero. This is the fact we are using to form a parallel plate capacitor. The electric field between two plates when voltage is applied in physics is a potential difference delta V or electric field E is used to describe any charge distribution. Potential difference delta V is closely related to energy where electric field E is related to force E is a vector quantity implying it has both magnitude and direction whereas delta V is a scalar variable with no direction when a voltage is applied between two conducting plates parallel to each other it creates a uniform electric field the strength of electric field is directly proportional to the applied voltage and 
inversely proportional to the distance between two planes. Thus, we can write E is equal to V upon D. The electric field between two parallel sets capacitor. Before we look at the electric field between two parallel sets of capacitor, it is important to understand what a parallel plate capacitor is. Let's look at it together. Parallel plate capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor comprises two conducting metal plates that are connected in parallel and separated by a certain distance. A dielectric medium fills the gap between two plates. Dielectric medium is an insulating material. It can be air, vacuum or some non-conducting material like mica, glass, electrolytic gel, paper wool, etc. Dielectric material stops current passing through it due to its non-conducting properties. However, when voltage is applied to the parallel plate, the dielectric atom will polarize under the effect of electric field. The process of polarization will form dipoles and these positive and negative charges will accumulate on the plates of parallel plate capacitor. A current flows through the capacitor as the charges accumulate until the potential difference between two plates equalizes the source potential. The capacitor's electric field strength must not exceed the dielectric material's breakdown field strength in parallel plate capacitor. If the capacitor operating voltage exceeds its limit, the dielectric breakdown causes a short circuit between the plates destroying the capacitor immediately. Thus, to protect capacitor from such a situation, one should not exceed the applied voltage limit and choose the range of voltage. Now let's see the electric field between parallel plate capacitors. As we have seen earlier, when two parallel plates of opposite charge distribution are taken, the electric field in the outer region will be zero. As a result, the net electric field in the center of parallel plate capacitor can be given by sigma upon epsilon, where sigma is the surface charge density of plate and epsilon is the permittivity of dielectric material used to form capacitor. As we know, epsilon is greater than epsilon zero. We can say that dielectric medium causes a decrease in electric field strength, but it is used to get higher capacitance and keep conducting plates coming in contact. The magnitude of the electric field between two charged plates. If two indefinitely large plates are taken into consideration, no voltage is supplied, then the electric field magnitude according to law of course must be constant. But the electric field between two plates, as we stated previously, relies on charge density of plates. Therefore, if two plates have same charge density, then the electric field between them is zero. And in the case of opposite charge density, the electric field between two plates is given by the constant value. When the charged plates are given a voltage, the magnitude of electric field is decided by the potential difference between them. A higher potential difference creates a strong electric field, while a higher distance between the plates leads toward the weak electric field. So the distance of plate and potential difference are the essential factors for the electric field strength. Now let's discuss the frequently asked questions related to properties. How is the electric field between parallel plates different from the electric field around the sphere? Answer is the electric field between parallel plates and around a charged sphere are not same. Let's see how they vary. The electric field between parallel plates depends on the charge density of plates. If they are oppositely charged, then the field between plates is sigma upon epsilon zero. And if they have same charge, then the electric field between them will be zero. Outside the charge sphere, the electric field is given by E is equal to kq upon r plus, whereas the field within the sphere is zero. In this case, R represents the distance between a point and the center. What will happen to the electric field and voltage if the distance between the plates of capacitor is doubled? Answer is E is equal to sigma upon epsilon zero determines the electric field between parallel plate capacitor according to Gauss law. 
Now, according to Gauss law, the electric field remains constant since it is independent of the distance between two capacitors plugged. If we talk about the potential difference, it is directly proportional to distance between two plates of capacitor and is given by V is equal to E dot D. Thus, if the distance is doubled, then the potential difference also increases. The next question is, how do I calculate the electric field in a parallel plate capacitor? Answer. In a parallel plate capacitor, both plates are oppositely charged. Thus, the electric field outside the plate will be cancelled out. Both plates are oppositely charged and therefore the field between plates will support each other. Moreover, between two plates, dielectric medium is present. So the permittivity of dielectric will also be an essential factor. Gauss law and concept of superposition are used to calculate the electric field between two plates. Thus we can write E is equal to E1 plus E2 and we get E is equal to sigma upon epsilon where sigma is the surface charge density and epsilon is the permittivity of dielectric material. Next question is, why does the electric field between the plates of capacitors decrease when introducing a dielectric plane? Explain with the help of diagram. Answer: When a dielectric material is placed between parallel plates of capacitors under an external electric field, the atoms of dielectric material will polarize. Charge accumulation on capacitor plate is caused by induced charge in dielectric material. As shown in figure, this charge accumulation causes an electric field between two plates that resist the external electric field. The figure shows dielectric plate induces the opposite electric field, hence the net electric field between the capacitor plates is decreased. between parallel plates of capacitor. Answer. Electric field, voltage and capacitance change when we introduce dielectric material between parallel plates of capacitor. The electric field drops when a dielectric material is introduced between parallel plates of capacitor due to charge accumulation on parallel plates, which generates an electric field in opposite direction of the external field. The electric field is given by E is equal to sigma upon epsilon. Electric field and voltage are proportional to each other, thus the voltage also decreases and given by V is equal to sigma d upon epsilon. The capacitance of the capacitor on the other hand increases because it is proportional to the permittivity of dielectric material and given by C is equal to epsilon a upon d. Next question is, does a magnetic field exist between the plates of capacitor? Answer. Magnetic field exists between two plates only when electric field between two plates is changing. Thus, when a capacitor is getting charged or discharged, the electric field between two plates changes and only at that time magnetic field exists. Next question is, what is the formula of capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor? Answer, by maintaining the electric field, capacitors are used to store electric charges in electrical energy. When the plates are separated by age or space, the formula for parallel plate capacitor is C is equal to epsilon 0 A for D, where C is the capacitor's capacitance. Next question is, what happens when a high electric field is stored in a very small region of space? Is there a limit of capacitance? Answer. Capacitors are electrical devices that use a sustained electric field to store electric charges as electric energy. Between the capacitor's plates lies the dielectric material. If the applied external electric field exceeds the breakdown field strength of dielectric material, then insulating dielectric material becomes conductive. Electrical breakdown leads towards the spark between two plates, which destroys the capacitor. Each capacitor has a different capacitance based on dielectric material used, area of plate and distance between them. The tolerance of the capacitor is found anywhere between plus or minus 1% to plus or minus 20% of its advertised value.
Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.